your job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name, Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk in a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes.
Dowd. You're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. See you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. If you'll get your own squad after what happened last night, chances are very good. Huh. 
Rouse yourself. Wake up! Someone get over here! <laughs> What's going on there? Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. As a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. Nancy T. 
tonight. You better believe it. Wait, who is that? Get over here! Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first one to defend you. Huh? Someone get over here! Cigars. <laughs> you ever think about anything else? If I say yes, you're gonna close your trap. After this morning, we're taking away time cards on sight. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message.
rats, I guess. Splinters, get over here! The slaughterhouse butchers are locking workers in the pump control station by the docks. If you could get in there, I bet the workers would tell you just about anything you wanted to know. Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. <laughs> <laughs> 